I agree with that final statement. You do statement. agree with that? That final statement I agree with. About Quran being exactly the same. The word by word, dot by dot, letter by letter. Okay. Please just calm down, Akhi. We're trying to talk, yeah? In a nice way. You're disturbing, you're being very rude and very aggressive. I've had my time with you. You're a Muslim and I'm a Muslim. Do not reflect badly on our religion. We're trying to... Huh? What do you say? Uh -huh. He's gonna come uh -huh. from the form which was different before, yeah. and then now he's coming. And then now, how are you? How do you recognize Allah? How do you recognize Allah? You recognize what is the sign from his shin? Come down, come down, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come get down, lost, down. get lost. Come on. Allah is going to uncover his shed. Uh, uncle, come, come. Uncle, come, come. We, we, let's continue, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, you okay? You okay, yeah? Oh, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Do you have the... Okay. The, the mic is there. No, no, no. The, 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 yeah, 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 the phone. All right, calm down, guys. Wait, read, read this, brother. Can you keep an eye? Something happens to me. Yeah, something's about to happen, let me know. And just keep an eye on these guys behind the door. They're messing around. Okay, sorry. Just make sure no one hurts you, okay? Yeah. Don't worry. You, 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 he's with me. Come on, here, okay? Go. Come. Read. So, so it says, yes, the day. <laughs> brother, 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 give it back, give it back. Come on, come I'll on. You, brother, brother where'd it go? Brother, why are you guys messing around, man? Oh, he. We're trying to talk about Islam maybe, right here. Maybe come on, come on. Maybe their father wants. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Maybe their father wants. Brother, calm down, calm down. Huh? Calm down, man. Don't get involved. Calm down, brother. I'm with you, don't get involved. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Listen. Brother, Listen. Just you calm please. Down. You calm down. Please. You calm down. Please. You calm down. Please. Brother, please. His hat's back. Where's his hat go? Let's out. Let me pick, let me pick it up. I'll pick it up for you. Hold the phone one second, please. Um, I'm going to wipe your hat now, okay? No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look, it's dirty. They put it on the floor. Can you stand behind him? Can you stand behind him to make sure no one touches him? Yeah. Here's your hat. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. This is what Islam is, yeah? We protect everyone and everyone, right? And we stand up against injustice. It's a hadith. If you can't, if you see a Muslim sees injustice, and that is also Islam, who is pulling see, my, pulling my, see, pulling my, uh, my hat. Yeah? It's not wrong, yeah. and they're wording incorrect. If a Muslim sees an injustice, you change it by his hand. If you can't change it by his hand, change it by he should change it by his mouth. If not by his mouth, you should change it by his heart. Yeah, and you saw they they took an yeah. issue with you, and the rose here. That is also yeah? that is also Islam. Let me say this, yeah. yeah. That is also me and you were desi, yeah. We're Asians. If one brown guy goes and starts fighting, does that reflect on every brown guy in the world? No, there's bad eggs in every, uh, in every okay. group and religion. Carry on, carry on. Sister, join us with the, with the discussion. Went yeah. it went so, so, this is what a sister was uh, asked, uh, um, uh, talking about. Uh, surah, surah. Oh, yeah, you can keep it for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 6 8 4 2. 6 8, yeah. So, what I was uh, telling my brother here, that Allah is uh, going to uncover his uh, shin yeah. on the day of judgment. Yeah. Yes. And the believer, they will uh, come to know Allah. Yeah. From his shin. By his shin. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Well, so not by the second bit, but about his shin. Yes. But let me let me let me just clarify yes. one yeah. thing. Okay. Go ahead. The, in the Quran mm -hmm. and in Hadith, everything you know about Islam. It's something called context. Context, right? Well, sure, and of sure, course, sure. Literal, yeah, it should not be context. everything is literal. Not yeah. everything is literal, right? If I see someone is as fast as yeah. a cheetah, yeah. do I mean he runs at 100 km per hour? No. It's a metaphor, right? So, but is, is this it a metaphor? A metaphor or a simile, whatever no, no, no. you want to say, right? Is this a metaphor? Yeah. Which one? Show me exactly what you're talking the about. The shin. Yes. Sh is, is shin a metaphor? It's, maybe I'm using the wrong word, but it's not, it's not literal. You're taking it literally. So, what is then he's uncovering? It's, if you read the. Can I, can I hold it? Yeah, yeah. So, if you read the whole. 
all the way down to. I, I have the same one at home. I know it's the right one. <laughs> if you read down to uh, number 44, so yeah? If it is metaphorical, I'm telling, I'm what you. is it he's uncovering? But I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you read down right to number 44, you can see that it's metaphor. The disbelievers in this world, their eyes are covered like with a shroud. Yeah, if you know about Islam, you know about the shroud. They're covered. Yeah, in their disbelief. So, metaphorically speaking, right? What is, what is going to happen? Their eyes, humble, humiliation will cover them, and they used to be invited to prostration while they were sound. So, so when in life, in one, life, one minute, in life, one minute, in life, they were invited, they were invited to Islam, right? To what we say, the truth. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't come to it. And therefore. Only at this last hour will they realize what they have missed out on. No. Okay, I think Islamic so brother, so just a second. I think Islamic sources simply will disagree with you. He is the reference. Yeah. Um, Sahih Bukhari. Okay. Sahib Bukhari. Nine ninety-three. Okay. 532 doesn't say then the almighty will come yeah. to them in yeah. a shape other than this is after like allah asked the jews um who is uh, who believes um uh, uzra is um ezra is the son of allah and then christians who believe jesus is the son of god after yeah. that conversation mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. then the almighty will come to them mm. in the shape other than the one which they saw first time yeah and he will say i am your lord mm -hmm. and they will say you are not our lord mm -hmm. and none will speak mm -hmm. to him then mm -hmm. but to he but the prophets and then it will be said to them do you know any sign by which you can recognize allah okay. mm -hmm. do you know mm -hmm. any signs by which you can recognize him they will say the shin mm. okay so allah will then uncover his shin okay. mm. whereupon every believer will bow down before him okay every believer now can i ask you so how can this be metaphorical can i ask you a question yeah. can i ask you a question no I just, i'm just if you answer yeah. my question then you can ask the question uh, yeah? so so with all of this because we're going around in circles, I've explained to him like many times now, and you come to me to explain the Speak same thing again. The church, that read what the children. is what? Well, so what is your point? What is your your group point with this? Bring up this word. What is your issue with this verse? I'm or trying this to idea? figure out what the shin of Allah looks like. Why? Um, believers need to recognize the shin of Allah. I'm trying to figure out: is it black, white hair, no hair? What does it so look like? Is, how, what is it so unique with the shin of Allah? Sure, sure. What is it so unique with the? with the shin of Allah, that Everyone on the day of judgment, that is the sign the that Bible people will recognize Allah. Let's assume whatever you want us to assume, right? Or whatever you think may be misconstrued in this, in this situation. How does this point have any impact, any severe impact on how we practice our religion in this day and age, in this world, in this life? That's not my question. No, so that might be question. your question. You, when you go home, you can reflect no, no, your I'm question. You no, no. That's, that's what so you're bringing up. That, that is your question. When you go home, you reflect on it. Okay. All I am trying to figure out the body parts of Allah. Okay. okay? So while Allah has those body parts, yet Quran says there is none like him. So okay. what is the shin of Allah is different than the shin of this gentleman? My and my point again. Let's assume that. No, that no, no. Saying, I just let's answer. assume that it's literal, yeah. Let's assume that it's literal, yeah. I'm not saying it. Let's assume it's literal, okay? How does it have any impact on how we practice in this day and age in this world? Then so I will ask. I, since I, as I said, that's something you need to go home and you reflect. No for it, so why are you nitpicking? Why are you cutting off? That's something you will go home. That's something you will go home and reflect and then say, okay, Allah has body, body parts. First body part, Allah has shin. And on the day of judgment, Allah is using his shin. To de Allah is taking different shapes and forms by deceiving us. Only Allah can be recognized by his shin. Then the next question is, okay, Allah has a womb. Oh, Allah has a word. Oh, Allah has this. Oh, Allah has this. Then you will start thinking about what it is means when Muslim screams out, oh, there is only one God. When they say there is only one God, yeah. where the body parts of Allah and his attributes are stands, is the body parts of Allah, those fats of Allah are part of Allah, are they separated from Allah? Those very, very basic questions you've got to reflect once you get home. So, but now let me ask my question again. Okay. The shin of Allah, okay. which Allah 
on the Day of Judgment, after taking different shapes and forms, deceiving people and being recognized in that shit. Is that shin? Is that shin? Shaved? Unshaved, black, well, brown, you white. To this, you're saying shape, shape shifting in different forms. I gave you the Sahih Bukhari you reference. Did okay, then can you I did. I, re I repeat it again. Okay, no, let, let me read it. Let me see it myself. I'm showing exactly what you're talking about. Sahih Bukhari, huh? 9, 93, open, 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 open your. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have a battery. Sahih Bukhari, okay. 9, 92. But what is it? Shape shifting. 93. He's Wait, gonna come. Uh -huh. He's gonna come uh -huh. from the form which was different before, yeah. and then now he's coming. And then yeah. now, how are you? How do you, you recognize Allah? Allah? How do you recognize Allah? How do you recognize what Allah? is the sign from his how shin? Do you recognize Allah? From his shin. How do you recognize Allah? On day judgment, you will know Allah. That's, not, that's a very but irrelevant question to I'm, ask. I'm you. sorry. That's not what the hadith says. Hadith says. It's a very, what it, it's a very no, question listen, to listen. Ask. Uh. Then the Almighty will come to them in yeah. a shape in a other, shape. Than, other the than the one yeah. which they saw first time. Yeah, Allah is not just time. changing shapes you, and forms. Changing Allah? shapes and no, forms. No. So, so he's gonna. So he revealed himself first and then went home or went to his bed, changed his shape and yeah. then come back again. Yeah. That's not what it says. And again, I read it again. But that's without no, no. my interpretation. Go on. By your then, interpretation. Go on. Then the no, 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 Almighty. No, no, no. This is the same by oh, no, because, no, because the I said Allah will go home and then change. But you don't let me make so my that's point. not the hadith says. Let me, so let me I read the hadith. Then the Almighty will come okay. to them yep. in a shape mm. other but than but the, the but one which they saw the first time. Okay. He is going to come to them from different shape. The one which they saw first time. And he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, No, you are not our Lord. And none will and none will speak to speak to him then but the prophets. And it will be said to them, Do you recognize? Do you do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? Okay. So in answer They will say the shin. So, then Allah will reveal, uncover his shin, whereupon every believer will bow down before him. Okay. And there will be remain those who used to bow down before him just for showing off or gaining and reputation and then it goes now, on. Now what I don't dispute, right, and what I'm not disputing is anything you've read out. What I dispute is your understanding and your own interpretation of what you have read. Okay. And that's what we're so trying to then, no, no, please, then no, help me out. Please, 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 please. She is not. She is not. I didn't interrupt you. I didn't interrupt you. You no, got to interrupt me. Yeah. So we need to be learned. I, I am here to be corrected if, if I am um, misrepresenting. So as I was actually, saying, maybe we can get this gentleman. We can see his shin hmm. and then compare his shin okay. to Allah's shin. I, again, I'm. Okay. As I was saying. What, I'm not dis what I am disputing is your interpretation of what you have read. And she is to, not to serve, interpreting. To, to further, to no, 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 no. But she no, is no, not. No, 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 no. She but is reading as uh, your scholars exactly, are exactly, written. Exactly, exactly. So, to so further, she is not doing yeah, to anything. Further, if you let me finish. She is not adding or uh, subtracting from but the... But that's not what I said. Yeah. I didn't say no, that. No, no. So you to, said uh, in, uh, she is uh, interpreting. Uncle no, please. no, she is not. Uncle, please, that's not what she interpretation is, means. She is re re reading as it is okay. written. Yeah. That's not what interpretation means, but I understand your point. So, to, first, to continue what I was saying, what I'm doing is your interpretation. So, to continue my, 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 what I'm saying, are you a scholar of Islam? Just, I just want a yes or no. I'm not trying to attack it. I just want a yes or no. Please make your case. I is will that a yes or no? Make your case. I will yes respond to no? your points. Okay. So, no. Ne neither of us are a student of knowledge. Neither of us have spent years was learning Muhammad and teaching. Was Muhammad a scholar? Neither was of us. Was Muhammad a scholar or a... Uh, Abu Bakr was scholar, or Usman was scholar, or uh, uh, other uh, Khalifas, uh, they were scholars? Neither were of us, scholars? neither of us have spent years, months, have neither of us have those to our lives to learning about Islam or whatever and teaching it, right? Therefore, it's not up to us to explain the interpretation of something. Because as I've said in the Quran, in the Sunnah, to understand, as you know, to understand the Quran, not all of it, and this was my point was with you as well, is that it's not literal in every sense. Yes, there are literal senses. Yes, there are places where it's literal. But you need to identify when a context must be applied and when you must not take stuff literally. Therefore, Sir, what's your name? Habib. Habib okay. 
Therefore, context must be, you must, you must be able to recognize when context may, uh, can be applied. Okay, right? let me slip but, but, but let, let me finish your sentence and then I'll slip Okay, oh, of course, of course. And that is why whenever you learn or you teach Islam, you don't take the book and read blind like that. You don't take the any sunnah, any sorry, any hadith and read blind like that. You must learn and teach and read under the guidance of a learned individual and infer meaning and uh, correct okay, interpretation from that. Let me respond to that. So first of all, you are agreeing with me that Allah has a shin. You are agreeing with me that that Allah comes in different shapes and forms. And then that? lastly, and then lastly, uh, people will recognize him from the shin he has when he uncovers his shin. So, so let me finish, let me finish. So that's, that's all the point I am making, okay? Allah has a problem with his body parts. Muslims have a problem with the sifats of Allah. Muslims have a problem with the attributes of Allah. So that's something you need to hold on. Regarding the, your question on the scholarship, Quran is, I, I didn't ask you, I didn't ask you, please, please provide for me. Why did, uh, I don't know, what is the, uh, it's not, for, what is the chains in this hadith? Or I didn't ask you other very basic questions. All I ask you, what is the shin of Allah look like? And all I ask you, and all I ask you, can, can I just ask you to record this gentleman's face? If something happens to me, he's one of the person, Mr. Don't Policeman worry, needs to, Mr. Policeman needs to check him out. Yes, I'm so scared of you. Oh. Please, 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 we're trying Quran, to debate. Please. Quran is explained. Please just calm down, Akhi, we're trying to talk, yeah? In a nice way. You're disturbing, you're being very rude and very aggressive. I've had my time with you. You're a Muslim, but I'm a Muslim. Do not reflect badly on our religion. We're trying to... Huh? What do you say? Speak loudly. Why are you shy? Why are you shy? Please, Akhi, let us speak nicely. You are my brother, he's my brother, okay? I'm not trying to have an issue with you. Please, let us speak without disturbing, okay? Let us speak and I will speak. Huh? Please, Akhi, I'm asking you. I'm not threatening you, I'm requesting. Yeah? There we go. Yeah? There we go. Huh? There we go. Was it hard? Huh? Was it hard to hard? Thank you very much. Please, would you mind? Yeah, was it hard? So you, wouldn't, you would mind just being quiet, yeah? Sorry? Please, yeah. Thank you what very a much. What creepy mindset those Muslims have. You, it's not. All, I'm Muslim. So, you call me creepy. So, well. I didn't. I didn't call you. you. I those call. Muslims. Yeah, I'm those, Muslim those, well. those, those two, those two. People knew who I was talking about. So, sorry. Please Quran, please. Quran identifies itself as well detailed, well explained, and there is no contradiction in it. So, therefore, my very basic question should be answered at this stage from well detailed, well explained Quran. Uh, maybe you, maybe you need really to walk away. They are just having group discussions. I think you need to walk away at this stage. So I need to you, you should walk away because they are having group discussions and it's usually fine. it doesn't turn up nicely. It's fine. It's fine. My dad is here. My dad is here. Please continue. Your dad. Your dad. Your dad is not going to help. Please continue. Please yeah. continue. So Quran is well detailed, well explained. Give me just one second. Nick, Nick, give me one second. Yeah, please. Quran is well detailed, well explained, and there is no contradictions on it. Quran doesn't tell you this. This verse is taken outside of the context because I already read you. I already read you the hadith, and in that two hadiths, in that hadith, this verse is being referenced regarding the uncovering the shin of Allah. And my question is, my question is, what does? what does it look like for so those very basic and if you are pointing people to scholars to get and get those very basic answers can you please point me the quranic verse which tells you go to the scholars because quran tells you go to the people of the book that's another point and which scholar so can you do it louder please i can't hear which, which scholar so at speaker's corner everyone have their own scholar even Sheikh yes. Yasser Qadi, he put his life in the study of the Quran, is under the bus at Speaker's Corner. A Shabir Ali is under the bus at Speaker's Corner because one Muslim to other Muslim, yeah. uh, one scholar to other scholar, they disagree and they do not support one another. Therefore, I don't know which scholar to go to. Okay. I went Muhammad. I do hope that you believe. I do hope that as a Sunni Muslim, you believe Muhammad is the best scholar among all. According to Muhammad's saying, Allah is going to uncover his shin. So, however you interpreted that, because according to Hadith, Allah is doing that after coming from different shapes and forms, it's 
pretty clear to me that Allah is talking about physical shin, therefore I am curious about the body parts of Allah and the details of that. So, yes. uh, do you want to make your conclusion? So, my, my point is, right, we need to stop it because don't need to worry about any guys here. We have, I, it's safe, it's fine. It's not safe, sir. People try to kill me at speaker's corner. Don't worry, we have five, there are five guys around you. Five of my guys around you, don't worry. That's up to you, though. But I promise you, before you, I'll get her before you. No, no, no sir, I don't need that. Just make your case regarding the shield of Allah. Conclusion. So, a conclusion. Okay, fine. In conclusion, my point is that we as a layman cannot infer meaning from what we do not know. Such as with the example of if, let's say for example, that I take uncle's phone from him yeah, and I go into court. Right? Will the court, let's say there's no cameras, no one saw it, me and uncle standing over there, no one saw it. And we took, I took the phone from it. And I said, oh no, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. Maybe a number of other issues come into play. Obviously, that means you have to go to court, right? And we try to establish, did I take the phone? Did I steal from him? Yes or no? Do we just, do, does the judge just say, you, I know you did it, go, no. The lawyers who infer the meaning from the law, they apply it, how uh, they, they take this meaning and apply it. The book is fully explained so, and we read from the Quran and book says uh, it is fully uh, explained. Then are you saying that uh, this, uh, this Quran is not fully explained to you? To you? Therefore he needs scholars, so he, I think yeah. he is going to address that. So, yeah. so as I was saying. In that, in that scenario, in the case of a court of law, right, there are lawyers and judges, those who have done it for their whole lives, they infer the meaning and they apply the meaning, right? And it's the same with religion, right? We have our scholars and our learned individuals, students of knowledge, who compile knowledge, who take the knowledge and who share the knowledge. I disagree with you on that, in a sense, you are Sunni Muslim, correct? Yeah, I, I just say I'm Muslim. Yeah, 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 so you are Muslim, your supreme authority is the Quran. I hope that's the case. Your supreme authority is the Quran. Okay. In the What's Quran, the well it says, this is well detailed, well explained book. It doesn't tell you, oh, well detailed, well explained book, but when you are talking about the shin of Allah, I'll point to Sheikh X or Sheikh B. Because mm. when you go to Sheikh yeah. A, yeah. Sheikh A says something different than Sheikh B. Yeah. So therefore, you've got different schools of Islam. They are disagreeing on yeah. lots of things. Yeah. Islam is like four, 400 years are fighting with one another, 1400 years, they are fighting with one another. Can you please come to the point? How do you deal with the verses when it says, this is well detailed, well explained, but in somehow we are failing to unpack what it means? So, can I ask you a question? Are you a Christian, yeah? So, which, what type of Christian are you? I'm Christian. But, but if we were to, so like, I say the same thing, I'm Muslim, but what denomination are you closest to? So, what, what, I want to talk about the but, but, So, what do you think about Mennonites? I want to talk about the but, No, 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 but you brought up different sects in Islam, so I brought up different sects in Christianity. Let's so, what about, what about the Mennonites? No, no, here's the problem, here's the problem. I brought that up in the intention. You've got those schools, you've got those sects, of course. because they follow the certain scholars. Of course. Okay? If everyone is following the one scholar, you wouldn't have those different sects. Of course. So, therefore, Therefore, my question still stands. You need to go to the sheikhs to ask basic questions about the ask basic questions about the shin of Allah or answer the basic questions about the shin of Allah. Give me the name which scholar I should go. I should go beside Muhammad because I went to Muhammad. Muhammad identified the shin of Allah as like no, normal shit. So, which scholar you think better than Muhammad? I never said there was a scholar. First of all, Muhammad Sallallahu is not a scholar, right? Revelation came through him. He and the hadith, his sayings, came from him. He's not a scholar, right? The owners, the, where, the, where, the, 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 where the information came from, it didn't originate from him, but where it came from, through, he was a vessel for this information, right? But going back to your point about different schools of so thought, but you've got people who are knows things better than Muhammad. I didn't say that. So if if you don't so identify Muhammad as the best scholar, I that said he's not a scholar. That's why I said he's not a scholar. He's a prophet. Was Jesus mm. a scholar? Oh, Jesus is identified as yeah. a teacher as well and son yeah. of God. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you make your case. If you mean it in the sense of a teacher, if you mean it in the sense of a teacher, then of course. If you mean it in the sense of someone who goes and infers meaning, 
No, of course not. He taught what it meant. People recorded what he was what was taught uh, by him to us. And of course, with the passage of history, so this is what she is saying. I'm, Muhammad, I'm getting to, I'm getting to Muhammad is the best person to explain the Quran. So she is uh, reading uh, Muhammad's uh, explanation. Of course, and that's, what I'm yeah. and that's what I'm addressing yeah. now, right? Yeah. With the passage of time, as with everything, right? Some basic history, right? Basic uh, contemporary history, right? Not all the facts are there, and not all the facts are just in every history book. Why? Because certain people might have heard something, another person may have written something else down, and there are many different sources and stuff like that, right? And with the passage of time, of course, different uh, 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 different sheikhs and different teachers have learned different things, right? With the different four schools of thought which you referenced, some of them refer some hadith to some hadith. Some refer to other hadith on certain rulings on the basis. Of course, of course, all of them do. You don't, even, basis, you don't even agree on the biography of it's, Muhammad. But it's on the on the, exactly on the basis of what knowledge they believe to be true and authentic, right? And I'm not getting into the debate of what is true or what is not authentic, but to explain the way that they do do that, it's just by as you know through the um, the succession of how was uh, say a certain hadith passed on from which individual to which individual was that person trustworthy or was he trustworthy and that is how information is passed down through the passage of time and of course some people may not trust some certain groups some groups may not trust other groups right and it is such with the passage of time the different uh, the different uh, interpretations have emerged however if you look at the basis of it the basis of religion, of what matters to you and I on, oh well, to the average Muslim on a day-to-day -day basis, how to pray five times a day, yeah? The very basic stuff, to give your zakat, right? To give charity, uh, sorry, the same things, your zakat, charity, yeah? You know what zakat means, of course, right? To be good to your neighbors, to be good to your people. I know you want to the very basic stuff. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not unpacking that, I'm just a very brief point, right? All I'm asking, all I'm asking is, Scholars fight with one another, they disagree with one another. Of course. Have you heard Yasir Kadir? Yes. Have you heard Shabir Ali? Uh, no. You haven't heard Shabir Ali? What do you mean? Like you haven't He's heard of Shabir scholar. Ali? He's I'm another scholar. Okay. okay. No. So, at, at speaker's corner, Yasir Kadir is under the bus. People okay. hate him now. Okay. But before they loved him. Okay. Same for Shabir Ali. Okay. So you've got scholars who are being loved, who are being respected and followed, versus others are not. My question was to you, see, regarding the Shin of Allah, since uh, you you know that people who can explain the things better than Sahih Bukhari's uh -huh. hadith, which I read to you, what is the name you are giving me for me to go and check the Shin of Allah? Which scholar do you want to refer to? Yeah, that's the Which scholar would I recommend? I, first of all, I can't recommend you a scholar because I'm not no big man, right? I'm not anyone important, I can recommend you a scholar. On, you know, it's for your views on that, I can, but on a personal level, I can recommend one scholar who is good, Sheikh Al Munajid, right? You know, are you familiar, familiar with the Islam Q8? You know the Islam Q8. Yeah? Islam Q8 is the website which simply actually recently I read the article where it was talking about lying is all right, yes. Uh, you may have taken out context. No, no, that was a question. Muslim Can we Muhammad lie to non-Muslims and have the yes. Quran from Muhammad. Yeah? No. Okay. From Muhammad and from uh, the scholars. Have scholars. you learned the Bible? No. From the scholars. Have you learned the Bible? Oh, yeah. Who did you learn we, it from? We are, Who did you learn it from? We are learning Who by reading learn by reading the Bible daily. Yeah, okay. we are learning. So Then why is this Bible, so Bible is... Uh, have you got anyone else besides that scholar? Apart from Sheikh Al-Manajit, no one that wants to stay on camera. Have you got, have you got anyone else um, from 7th, 8th century that I can go back to? There is, but I don't want to stay on camera. I can tell you off the camera, if you genuinely want to learn. If it's for the viewers, I'll tell you off, the, when the camera's off, I'll tell you. Yeah? After that, I will tell you. Okay. Should you give me that name? So, of course. Um, let me ask you a very basic question then, on a different topic. Okay. Since we can't conclude the shin of Allah regarding disagreeing with you, you are disagreeing with the Sahih Bukhari and Muhammad. Uh, no, I didn't disagree. I said that. I said that. In that no case, we are saying Allah has a shin. I didn't comment on that matter. Okay, Allah has a shin, changing his, his his shape and form on last day. People are gonna recognize him in his shin, but we need to read more scholars. Correct? We need to read your scholars. So, right. Uh, my my next question is.
Why Surah 115 and 116 is not in the current Quran? 115, 116. Yeah, those, those, yeah, I'll show it what are they. Where is the uncle gone from before? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Do you have the Quran on you? Yeah. You have it in your pocket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just show me in the book. Which surah are you looking what for? What is your mother tongue, sir? Uh, English. English, okay. Which surah are you looking for? Surah 115 and 116. 115. The last one, the 140, is only 140. Yeah, that, only 140 because of that, that's why, why I'm asking okay. them, why they are not in the Quran. Do you have the surahs? I can read it in Arabic if you have it in Arabic. Yeah, I've got the Arabic. Arabic and English translation of these two surahs. Do you have your team with you? Do you have a skewed team with you or something like that? No. It's okay. It's okay. Focus this. It's okay. Nick. It's okay. Nick. So, so it's okay. Guy, one second. You see the guy, in, the guy in red? Just keep an eye on the guys around him and the guy with the grey hoodie. Still, still. Sorry, as you were saying. So, this is surah 115, this is surah 116. I don't believe in these. That's fine. I want you to first read this. Are you a Hanafi Muslim? No. No. Can you zoom in for me? So wait, why do you want to read it? I want you to read it and then I'm going to ask you why they are not in the Quran. Okay. Okay, that's, this is the other one. So, because your hand is just shaking, sorry. I know, it's cold. Yeah, <laughs> even I'm shaking. Okay. So, do you recognize any of those surahs? The surah in that order? Do, do you, do, yeah, do you recognize any of those verses? I, the, this surah, no. This surah, no. Okay. So, you, don't, you are not Hanafi then, because Hanafis are praying those things. Okay, so these are, according to Islamic tradition, were from the Uwai bin Kaab's Quran. Okay. Uwai bin Kaab had 116 chapters in his Quran. Okay. Those are the last two chapters. Okay. So, why those chapters are not in today's Quran? Sorry? Why those chapters are not in today's Quran? If it was, do you know how the, the Quran was preserved? Um, I don't believe Quran is the preserved. Okay, but do you know how we believe it was preserved? Um, I don't know. What is? What do you mean with the preservation? Do you know how the Quran was written down and how we receive it in the book we receive it today? Um, give me your version. No, because but do every, you know? Every Muslim has different version. So what is your understanding of it? Because probably is. Muhammad revealed he failed oh, to co he failed to uh, compile the Quran. Muhammad died. Abu Bakr compiled the first Quran under by practicing the Buddha. Uthman, no, no, Uthman, what? Uthman uh, compiled the second Quran. Okay. Uh, from Hafsa's Quran, which they ordered all the Quranic materials to be burned from them. Uh, Islamic tradition talks about how people disagreed what was in Uthman's Quran, yet Uthman compiled when he sent the copies to the different cities. There were continental differences around uh, late 700s, suddenly multiple Qurans start being effective. In 900s, people are talking about 50 different Arabic Qurans to circulate around. In 1924, Okay. Al Azhar um, uh, put half Quran as a majority um, for the preservation in 1985. Current half Quran is canonized for the world. Okay. Of course, between 900 to 1300s, uh, people were tortured and uh, put in prison because their Qurans were rejected. Okay. Um, today, there are some Muslims that speakers gonna believe. Quran is dot by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound, word by word, exactly what Muhammad passed down to us. And I agree with that final You do statement. agree with that? That final statement I agree with. About Quran being exactly the same. The word by word, dot by dot, letter by letter. Okay. Have you memorized the Quran? No, no, not all of it. Sorry, second. 
Okay, would you mind just the last, uh, just to close it up, like the last statement, because my friend uh, wants to go to eat. Are you coming back next week? A week after, inshallah. Okay. Do you have a piece of paper and a pen? Yeah. Oh, actually, actually, can are you can you recite Surah three verse one hundred forty six for me? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. You don't. Okay. Can you recite Surah Fatiha for me? Yeah. Why? But why? Go for it. You, but for what reason? I just want to see which one you're reciting. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, Al Rahman Al Rahim, Malik Yawm Al Din. Okay. Inya kan abdu wa inya kan astain. إحدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم قال ما دبل ما تنام عليهم مغضولين. Okay, thank you. So, um, did you recite it as the king of the day of judgment or master of the day of judgment? It, so you ask about the the meaning. Yeah. yeah? Okay. For so the, the Malik word. Okay. Before I answer this question, I'm gonna. What is your native language, by the way? If you don't mind me asking. I'm Turkish. You're Turkish. Okay. So let's say that you wrote like a book in Turkish, right? In translated to English, would it be translated word for word, letter by letter, with everything be exactly the same? Uh, no. There we go. I didn't ask you about the um, English. I said what the word, the okay. Malik you recited. Yeah. What does that mean? Malik Yomidin, Malik. Uh, yes, I believe King or Master. I believe those words to be very similar. So King or Master would be the same. If you talk about in English. Okay, there there are different words in Arabic and there are different in English. Talking, but you asked me in English. I'm saying so there there are different in Arabic. So they are different in English as well. Yeah. But so, they're very in English. Yeah. I, I perhaps disagree on that, but fine. Um, when you do wudu. Yes. Okay. Do you wash your feet or do you wipe your feet? That's the same thing. Washing and wiping are the it's same exactly thing. It's the same thing. Because do you use soap and wudu? No, no one uses soap and wudu. I, I wasn't asking for the soap, with the water. When you do wash what, or what, wipe? What is the difference between wash and wipe? Wash is water is running and then you are washing. Okay. Wipe is you are simply just passing through the water that or just like... the exact same movement except you just did that. It's the exact same thing. So That's would, not the case. If, if it was the exact same thing, Today, there wouldn't be difference between Sun, uh, Sunnis and, and that's Shias. What I'm saying. I don't believe there's a difference between those two. I believe washing and wiping is the same thing. Washing and wiping is the same thing. Same thing. Okay, so now let me show you some examples. You know what I say to you? Write all these down. A week after next week, I'll come back and I'll address every every single point you have. I don't want you to come back and address every single point I have. Whichever you, point you, you have. You just made a point that okay. it is. So take uh, this point. It is worth. But yeah, yeah I, I'll finish. I don't it, want to say that I'm running away or anything. Yeah. Genuinely. So you said. Yeah. Um, I need, brother. Can you hold this Quran for me? I'll, I'll hold it. I'll no, hold no, 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 no. Twice my Quran is being stolen, and last week someone tried to. I'm not going to steal the Quran because no, it's, no, it's better. Sorry, 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 no, no, because of because so, you need to be clean when you no, hold it. No, I'm not going to run away. Uh, I it's fine. So he's Christian. Jesus cleansed. But it's fine. No, but like. Here's the here's the Surah. Verse 146. Really, people so it's fine. Dra dragged the cars. Yeah, but I'm, no one's going to. It's, it's fine. You. It's no fine. One will. So, Trust so me, no I one want will. you to. No uh, you said word by word, dot by dot, same, okay? This is the Quran. That's not fine. No, come on. No, that's you're not saying, fine. You're the that's not, that's you're not fine. The come on, no, 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 come on. You're that's not fine. The There's no need to say that. Yeah, but you've got come the on. It's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. That's not fine. So. Can you? Come on. I'm not going to turn you on. Let's focus on the debate. Let's focus on the debate. Walk away. Let's focus on the debate. No, no, no. Not until he walks away. I will not continue until he walks away. Okay, come back next week and then we discuss. Okay, perfect. I'll give you my phone number if you want. No, I don't so you want your phone. I don't want your phone number. I okay. Before you go, I want you to look at those two words. Yeah. This word. Okay. Okay. And then this word here. Okay. When you say dot by dot, letter by letter is exactly the same. You read, will read say, this word to me. You will see the they same, are different. It's the same word. How can they be same okay, while, you want to read while you've got those letters up here? Read the word that it says. Here. Read that. Can you Katala, read Arabic? Katala. And read that one. Katala. It's the, read this this one right here. This one is fight. This one is were killed. It's the exact the, same word. They are not exactly the same. Okay. 
I'll, it's see, to do with pronunciation. You, no, no, it's, the exact it's same not word. the pronunciation. See this line. Okay, what letter this is that? Line, what letter this is that? Line, listen, listen. This line under it, it changed the meaning. Okay, this is not what I'm saying. No, okay, no, but so what letter is that? Just a moment. In here, you've got the physical evidence. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to make it this much simpler. Recently, there was a book. Uh, where did I put my phone? My shoes. Sorry. So, but one thing, if we do continue talking, something like that, just the Quran is something that I don't tolerate personally. I have not, I'm not, it's not a threat, but I personally will not be speaking if this disrespect continues. What disrespect? Because you put your foot above it. This gentleman here is making remarks about it. So that's got, my bag. Have, that's my bag. I have, put my foot there to take off my foot. And that has cuts in it inside. Come on, you can be a grown up man and that. You're not that so finicky, are you? You're not that touchy. I'm not Quran, talking to you though, but I'm not talking to you, you right now. You will look after your own Quran. I'm not here. talking to you, but what, you what I'm saying, that's, that's completely I'm, fine. That's, what I'm that's completely fine, but I will not. I just I just feel this comes in the time where you really don't want to talk about the preservation of the Quran. I will finish this. But I'm saying I will not tolerate disrespect. What do you mean not so, tolerate? What do you mean? That, it's not that, a threat. That's like a law, like not tolerate. Uh, it's not a threat. And, and the finger as well. It's not a threat. You will not tolerate. Your it's not a threat. Today? It's not a threat. Where have your gloves been today? Why? Well, you're, you're saying he's not clean, but you are clean. Yes. So he's not clean and you are. What? What's very disrespectful? What? what, what? That's very disrespectful. I have cleaned. Clean. I clean my gloves. I clean my gloves. But you are. So do I know where his hands have been or do I know where my hands have been? I know where mine have been, I don't know where yours have been. So let's forget this, forget this. Sorry? How did you travel I came on train and I was not wearing my gloves. I keep my gloves in a bag, inside my bag. Thank you very much. So they're clean? Of course. 100% clean? 110%. Yeah, what about your sweat? Why are you getting involved? What about your sweat? Why are you getting involved? I'm are telling you, are you, you know, you're trying to say you he's clean and you're not. Are you with these people? Sir, this is speaker's corner. Okay, so this is, can, no, this is so normal. You can do your thing. I this is, this is, this is speaker's corner. Okay. This is very normal. I thought you were with them. That's why I was talking to you. If you're not with them, I'm not going to talk to you. Sir, it is speaker's corner. It is very normal oh, that a, people nice step day. in. Sorry? It is speaker's corner. I assume they were with you. That was my mistake. Anyway. It is normal that people step in and then join the conversation Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You will tolerate so, so yeah, that's, that's no, no, it's a debate, man. He's trying to lay down the rules. We will not tolerate. I will not be in this presence yeah. and I will not debate yeah. while that is going on. And I can say that. I can choose to walk but away. But you're saying he's not clean, but you are. Do I know if he's clean? Yeah. You don't even know what it means. You don't even know what the state of clean means. Exactly. What does it mean to be in a state of cleanliness? Self-righteousness. That's what it means. No, 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 no. What does what does what does cleanliness mean? It just means I had a voodoo. I am clean like all those. It doesn't just mean. It doesn't. So let me let me let me just come to the point. You saw Surah 3 verse 146. Yes. Okay. The way you say dot by dot, letter by letter, same, but you saw letters were in different places. This is the book called Bridges Translations of the Ten Krat. Okay, just get the PDF version of it. Okay. He's got footnotes in his book, and then in the footnotes he's simply telling this verse is different meaning and Arabic. Okay, Arabic is different. In English it's different, therefore he even translates and then tells us in Nafi's Quran, Ibn Kathir's Quran, Abu Amir's Quran and Yaqub's Quran, this word is read as killed versus the one you read is fight, past tense for the fight. So when you fight, you go home, you are injured, it doesn't mean 100% you are dead. But in other Qurans, it is telling us actually, no, they were de dead. So. How do you reconcile dot by dot, word by word, letter by letter argument? You just saw two physical Qurans different and your Muslim scholars, I probably you will disagree with this. I, say, this I didn't case. say every Quran though, because you asked me, is the Quran... Let's how many Qurans are there? Do I? Okay, let me, let me give you an example. Sorry, how many Imagine, Qurans are there? I'm, I'm, exp I'm about to explain. No, no, just answer that, no, answer that very simple number. There is, in terms of how many copies are there? No, I'm not talking about I'm there? not talking about That's the copies. How many Arabic Qurans today from Surah 1 to Surah 114? You want an exact there? number? How yeah. am I gonna give you an exact number? I've got four in my bag. They are different from one another. So you mean how many uh, so what is your question? How many of them are written in Arabic in different styles? Not styles, different with the wording and dotting, all those different kind of wording, things. Different wording, stuff like that. Okay. So that's the book, by the way, I was showing you. Check it out. 
talk, talks about 30 different Arabic Qurans and then gives you the uh, meaning, how Arabic meaning changed the meaning, how the Arabic word is changing the meaning and all those kind of things. So what I will say, again, this is a metaphor, well, don't take me literally, let's say me and you have a book, Pride and Prejudice, is the no, punctuation... Sir, sir, I'm, sir I'm not talking about that, be... just very simple, you express Dot by dot, you believe preservation so you of the Quran. I, I don't want you to give me an example. Like I'm I, you an I, I, I think I can understand this in very simple points. That's okay. To so to you. dot by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound, exactly the same. These two Qurans I just showed you. This Quran has one disagrees with this Quran in 1,300 places. This is identified as the Vosh Quran. This is identified as a Hafs Quran. Okay. I don't know where you are, but uh, if you are if you are based in Britain, probably that's what you are okay. reciting. This Quran, Hafs Quran, is banned in Algeria. This Quran is banned in Saudi Arabia. So uh, you saw Surah 3, verse 146. So what they were mm -hmm. written differently. Meaning differently, I showed you from the um, scholar. So which one, which one is the perfect preserved dot by dot Quran? So you're saying that this one is banned in Saudi and that one's banned in Algeria? Uh, yes, this and is half, half is banned in Algeria. And? Warsh is banned in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so no, 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 hold, hold them up, hold them up one second. I'm going to ask you just one, one final question and then I'm going to leave it there. Who, who wrote down this Quran, this one? No, 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 without looking, without looking, who wrote it down? You know, I'm, only, I'm asking you the question. It, it says many different things there. It says email website. Dal khair. Okay. Who? But who was the actual person who wrote it down? So you're saying the organization wrote it. Is that is that correct? I don't know. Okay. And the other one? Okay. So you don't know. Okay. The other one. I think it was the other page. That page, huh? Abdullah Yusuf Ali. This is, is translation. Oh, tra okay. I'm not oh, asking you the translation. I'm asking so I'm you the Arabic. Uh, yeah, I'm asking you who wrote. I'm asking you. Yeah. And I'm asking you who who wrote it down in Arabic. Sir, I there show you go. the I show you the publisher who okay. wrote it down. You can just go to Morocco and then buy the Walsh Quran. It's less than a pound. Yep. And it's I'll, less I'll, than I'll, a pound. Uh, oh, you, people can buy it Amazon as well. Of course. But I already showed you PDF of the book where your Muslim scholars are saying here's the names of the Qurans this word is different in this Quran, this Quran, this Quran so those Qurans are already being named and labeled and that, so yeah. how do you reconcile when you saw dot by dot they are different and then it does affect the meaning and the same on the uh, voodoo when you wash your feet and when you wipe your foot you've got Quran which talks about wipe your feet you've got Quran which talks about wash your feet so therefore we get to see like that's another reason, like how Sunnis and Shias practice the, differently practice their um, prayer stuff. So, how do you reconcile when you see wording, dotting, all is different, yet you still say dot by dot, letter by letter, preserve? So, so in, in very in very simple, in very 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 simple way, same with those hadith. Right, as you know, as I've said before, and it's probably the same with in this case. How does the average Muslim, how does the average Muslim know which one to follow? Is that what you're asking? You've told how to I reconcile? How does the average Muslim know what to follow? Yeah, that's your question. Yeah. No, you said. No, I asked you what the question is. No, that wasn't my okay, question. What was the question? So my question was, you stated you believe dot by dot, letter by letter, word by word, preservation of the Quran. Yes. Okay. I showed you, they are different. Okay. What is your intake on that? Oh, so what's my take on that? Okay. So my comment on this is that why is there differentiation between these various different uh, Qurans and different hadith as you various different Qurans and hadith as you have said. I'm not commenting on this one, that one or the other one, yeah? I'm talking generally. Can you comment on this one? I can't comment because on Because I didn't ask you about how do you? Uh, this, this, I didn't ask you about the hadiths. I asked you about the, the two same, different. It's the same plans. answer. Because I'm familiar with what the concept that you're talking about, and the answer to this general concept is that due to the passage of time, due to different forms of where people have written and obviously stuff like that. I'm talking about hadith here, by the way, not Quran. In a hadith, right? I'm That's asking why a question on the Quran. I'm, I'm getting to that, you know, because you gave me a long answer. I'm giving you a long answer back, right? So with the hadith, obviously, that has how 
that's one way in which meaning may have changed and therefore in these situations where meaning has changed and a person has been identified or a person has been identified as someone who's not trustworthy that narration or any narration where that person is included or that hadith itself becomes untrustworthy now in the case of this Quran I don't know because to me well the one that at least the example you showed me what you showed me was ta ta la and that was exactly the same in both Qurans they were the same I'll show I can show them again so do you think if someone is liar they, are they trustworthy you would you would say that if someone is identified liar and untrustworthy would you trust them so if they meet if they have been established as a liar and yeah. from a Islamic perspective they've been established as a liar from a Islamic perspective they've been established as a liar then yes they're untrustworthy okay so the Quran which you looked at at the first Hafs Quran which okay. is talking about prophets were fighting Mr. Hafs is identified as untrustworthy and un liar according okay. to your scholars okay okay so I didn't I didn't question you on the hadith all my question was very simple dot by dot letter by letter sound by sound word by word preservation of that sentence is simply destroyed as you saw different Qurans I'll show them to you once again no, no, by no, your own your eyes point. so it's not I like your point. You, no you stated they are, they are the same words they were not written same they were written differently they pronounce differently and according to your Muslim scholars the meaning of that is different so that destroys your word by word, dot by dot, letter by letter preservation of the Quran. So the Quran you are reading, Hafs Quran, the first one we looked, which is banned in Algeria, mm -hmm. Hafs Quran, Hafs, Mr. Hafs is identified as with having very bad memory okay. and he's not trustworthy. No, sorry, his teacher has a bad, bad memory. Awesome. Hafs okay. is identified as liar and non-trustworthy. Hafs end up in Islamic tradition uh, in so 1300s when his Quran become like cho chosen as under the seven crowds, ten crowds and fourteen crowds. People who were simply disagreeing with the rest end up in the prisons and they were tortured. Mm -hmm. Hafs never met with Muhammad, never seen what the Quran of Muhammad was. Hafs mm -hmm. is not Ubay bin Kaab or Ibn Masud who spent time with Muhammad. Okay. So I showed you the earlier I showed you two surahs which you said you, they are not part of the Quran. They are not part of the Quran, yet in 1900, in 900s, they were part of the Ubay bin Kaab's Quran and people saw that and they recited that. And today there are some Muslim, um, um, how do you call them? Um, schools, some Muslim schools, Hanafis for example, recite those, those as a prayer in their daily, day, day, daily um, Muslim life. Yet they are not in the half scrum which you looked at. Mm -hmm. Okay. So no. I believe your dot by dot, letter by letter, word by word preservation is failed. Okay. So I don't so you're not accepting my answer, which is fine. So I'll say just this one thing, the final thing, right? That was like is, third final thing. I, I know, I know. Yeah, nice I've taken it. Right. Of course. You come back in two weeks, that's fine. Yes, because next week I've, I'm working. But the week after inshallah I'll be here. I've already signed on to do some work. Anyway, last thing that I'll say, last thing. Religion, Islam, is perfect. Finding it is not the easy task because everyone would do it. Everyone would practice it, right? Allah says that if the people did not sin, if this world was perfect, He would wipe it away and start again with people who did sin so that they could turn to Him and seek forgiveness, right? These people and this, uh, sorry, people on earth, right no one is perfect right but a religion islam is perfect now so islam, if general, islam is islam is sorry. very disturbing ideology now, if, and even the hadith you put together shows actually allah is falling in love with so sin as, as, therefore but, but, he's able but, to turn no, no, blind this is my last point i won't we can do I, by all means i'll address every one of your points next week just now because he wants to go eat and i promised him so i'm not gonna break my word but as i said last point People are not perfect, but religion is perfect. Yes, I have some people who are untrustworthy, taken maybe, maybe they've added words or missed out letters or words or they've added on hadith. Of course, does that mean that all hadith are untrustworthy? No. In the case, of, let's say there was a hadith that came from three different sources, right? 
and three different narrations, but they in turn they all said the same thing. For example, right, because it does happen. But as you, as you probably know, imagine in one of these chains of narration, there was someone who's a known person who's untrustworthy. That means that his OSC, his uh, um, the the narration that comes after him would not be trustworthy. Does that mean that the words that also come from the other two are untrustworthy? No. Do you know what I mean? So let did you, me, did you uh, so, let, so let me let me respond to that. No, but, sorry. As as my conclusion, okay, since you okay, made okay, your fine. conclusion, let me respond to that as my conclusion. Okay. I wasn't talking about hadith. When we look at the hadith, the hadith has lots of lots of its problem. Okay. I, my main focus was on the Quran, but you already confirmed. You already stated Islam is perfect, but books are not perfect. People are not perfect, and and even the had, the hadith you brought up regarding. Allah will destroy people until, until they sin, it already shows me how Allah is morally corrupted. Islam is very dangerous ideology, not perfect at all. Quran is not perfect, very dangerous ideology, as well as your hadiths, who, which tells you how you need to live your life in daily ways. Um, regarding, uh, thank you for confirming that yes, there are people who edit it and then take the things out. That's my case, that's happened in um, Hadid, as well as that happened in the Quran, um, Allah did it, Muhammad did it, and your Muslim scholars uh, um, did it as well. That's how we end up. Therefore, I didn't say that. Uh, therefore, Allah, Allah did it, Muhammad did it, uh, your Muslim scholars did it. Hopefully, we will discuss that when you come back in two weeks. Uh, definitely. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Again. Again. Because they are expecting you.